And I'm, I'm going to go straight to my underappreciated performer of the week, my friend, who's an Everton player, plays oh. in the blue of Everton. And some might think James Tarkovsky, the captain, you know, Deitch knows very well from Burnley and talked about him after the game. But I'm going to go for his centre-back partner. And it's a, it's a, it's a guy named Jareth Branthwaite, uh, who people may or may not know. He's 21 years of age. I, I think we talked about him a couple of weeks ago. I, I did a bit of research where... I think he was born in Carlisle. He, he, he was sent at Everton after um, playing, I think, lower league. He went to PSV on loan, Rob, for, to, to, to go and play some football. And, and I think they felt like going to another country will, will, will mature him as a player and as a man. And I believe that that, that is the case. I'm really happy with, with the progress he, he's made. He's quick over the ground. He's left-footed. He's got a good temperament about him. He's improving all the time. And I was reading a little bit of something just to, before we came on the podcast. Like, there's already talk of people like Manchester United having a little look at him, that, you know, he's a profile of, of the kind of centre-back they would like. Mm. I think he's, he, he's learned, he'll learn from Tarkovsky, who, who's really improving and, and mm. has always been a bit of a leader, but will defend for his life with the goal. Um, and in and, and, and a side, Robert, where, do you remember the days when it was like Holgate... Uh, the Mina, Cody, and, and um, Godfrey. Godfrey. Is, uh, he yeah. was like, they're back centre backs Michael all King, over yeah, the place. All of those. And, and, and all Problem of a sudden, position. Yeah, some have gone, some are not in form, some have been injured. Branthwaite's come in and done an outstanding kind of under the radar uh, job. As you say sometimes, young player, Rob, who, if you could keep an eye on and if he can maintain a partnership, is going to be as important for, for Everton as, as anybody else in that squad. Absolutely right. And well said. And, it, and it's so important. So important. And, and it's funny, we've both gone for, you know, younger centre backs yeah, this yeah. time, Robin, and appreciated. And, and, and maybe that's something in that because centre backs are a little underappreciated. Mm-hmm. Everybody looks for midfield players and goal scorers and creators. Of course, that's, that's absolutely key. But, but defenders are so, so important. And, it, and like, as you said there, Rob, it, is a, it has been a problem position. You, you add into that Nathan Patterson, the right fullback that I yeah. like, young, mm-hmm. energetic, can play a little bit. All of a sudden, uh, the back four in front of Jordan Pickford, who's a, obviously yeah. an excellent goalkeeper, then it starts to look different defensively. You know, a little bit like Spurs changed a lot of their defensive individuals. Mm. They look different. They look yeah. better. Everton will hope through, and I know that Patterson was there last year and, mm. and maybe there, you know, there isn't that much change, but centre-back is an important position yeah. in the team. And to go yeah. alongside Tokovsky, that I think we both know is a pretty tough, rugged, pretty good Premier League central mm. defender. That's important. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.